Good morning. I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research. I'm Andy Myers, and this is your morning market update for Friday, June 24th. Stocks on Wall Street opened modestly lower, despite some largely positive economic data. Orders for durable goods rose 1.9% in May. That was a bit higher than expected and a partial rebound from a steep 2.7% decline in April. The transportation sector saw the biggest increase last month, but even excluding those goods, orders still rose six-tenths of a percent. Meanwhile, the final reading of first quarter U.S. gross domestic product was revised slightly higher to 1.9%. The previous two readings had shown annualized growth of 1.8%, but most economists don't expect much improvement in the second quarter due to higher gasoline prices and supply disruptions from Japan's earthquake. Following the data, Treasury prices gave up some of their recent gains, pushing the yield on the 10-year note up a bit closer to 3%. And the dollar gained some ground on the euro. Earlier in the day, the euro had been trending higher after Eurozone officials endorsed a Greek reform plan, which includes austerity measures and the privatization of national assets. The Greek parliament will vote on the new plan next week. If it's approved, it would pave the way for the country to get more financial aid from the European Union and International Monetary Fund. Earlier this week, they delayed the payment of 12 billion euros, part of Greece's original 110 billion euro rescue package. Officials are now talking about a second bailout for the struggling country to try to prevent a debt default. Disappointing earnings from two big technology firms may act as a drag on that sector today. Right now, Oracle is dropping 2.5%. It actually topped estimates with relatively strong profit numbers and a 13% increase in overall revenue. But sales of Oracle software systems declined 6%, a big difference from the 12% increase that the company was expecting. Meanwhile, Micron Technology is tumbling 8%. After yesterday's closing bell, the chipmaker posted a 92% drop in its quarterly profit, and sales declined 5%. The results fell far short of estimates due to lower selling prices for Micron's dynamic random access memory chips. Margins on DRAM chips have been declining amid worries about oversupply and slumping demand for personal computers. Another technology-related company that may see some action today is Radio Shack. The retailer is down about 1.5% on news that it will be replaced in the S&P 500 index by Marathon Petroleum. One of the day's biggest stock winners also comes from the energy sector gas utility Southern Union. It's surging more than 15 percent after Williams Companies made an $8.7 billion buyout bid for the company. The offer represents a 14 percent premium over Southern Union's closing price yesterday, and it tops a previous bid from Energy Trading Equity. Meanwhile, Diamond Offshore and Constellation Energy are both rising in early trading, following stock upgrades from FBR Capital and Wonderlic, respectively. But United Continental is tumbling more than 7%, giving back all of yesterday's gains and then some, after Ticonderoga cut its price target on the airline. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day and a fabulous weekend.